Hello and greetings ladies and gentlemen, greetings and welcome back to Let's Play Cry of Fear. And oh my god, these environmental noises are so loud, I can't even hear my own voice. <laughs> this is, this is amazing. Oh my, if I don't die by getting attacked from these creeps, I'm definitely gonna die from having my ears be completely destroyed. Huh, can't call the elevator. It must be stuck somewhere. Figures. And somebody blocked off this corridor. The hallway is totally blocked. I can't get past. Huh. Sheet of paper on the floor. Once again. What was that? I can hear disturbing noises. My secret note one. <clears throat> what the hell is this all about? Let's see. Three little kitties playing in the park. Said the first kitty, let's go home before it gets dark. The first two went on their merry way home. The third stayed playing all alone. Come here, little child, come to me. The bushes whispered softly. They say curiosity killed the cat. What the fuck kind of disturbing note is this? A pedophile most likely kidnapped a little boy. Or girl. What the fuck developers? What is the meaning of this? I really don't know. And to be honest I don't want to find out. Now, where do I want to be at? Machinery room, but of course it is locked, as usual. Is that where the loud noises are coming from? Aha! Aha, dear. Generator doesn't seem to be as loud in here. In fact, I think the noise has completely vanished. Still, though, this apartment was unlocked. Let's be very, very careful about examining the rooms, shall we? Oh, thank the lord, there's a tape recorder. So now, once I reach the limit of this video, I can simply backtrack to this very room. Delightful. However, that time is not yet there. We still have about 20 more minutes before I can feel safe again. Let's see, what can I find? And what the hell is that? Oh, looks like a little study area. Hmm, TV. <laughs> An Atari poster. Weird little machine. I have no idea what this is supposed to be. Maybe a musical? What? What? What the fuck? What the hell is up with these random music stingers? I really, really don't like them. Oh, I'm gonna save my freaking game. Just to make sure that nothing goes horribly wrong and I have to backtrack once again. Oh, there we go. Now everything should be alright. <laughs> Wishful thinking. Alright. What the fuck is that? Oh my god. Oh. Get the fuck away from me. Oh my gosh. Oh my Jesus, fuck! What the fuck is that? Like a little kid or something? Jesus! Oh my god! That was laying there on the floor the entire time! I thought it was just a garbage bag or something, but no! 
Oh, fuck. Oh, my. <laughs> oh, fuck, Jesus. And now I'm hurt again. Figures. Oh, my God. I knew that this apartment building wasn't safe. Um, why did the lights go off in here? What happened to the damn lights? Okay. Uh, <laughs> Great, the switch is no longer working. Oh, of course, I was using my flashlight. Makes sense. Uh, bathroom. Is there any morphine? It would be a pleasure. Come on. Morphine, please. I'm about to die. Any kind of health, really. Uh, please have a heart. Nope, apparently not. Just a random living room full of trash bags. Huh. What have we here? And calm down, Simon. For the time being, you are going to live. Wooden boards. Looks like somebody tried to move from apartment to apartment via the balconies. Why the hell am I using this shortcut? And oh gosh, do you see that down there? Is that a park or forest in the darkness? Oh, no way I'm going to head into that area. Why do I feel like though that I will have to eventually? No, 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 no. I prefer the safety of this apartment. Safety, right. Well, I guess this is a nice way to, you know, proceed from floor to floor. <sighs> Calm down. I swear to God, Simon, it's not that bad of a wound. Stairs are totally blocked. Oh boy, new area is never a good sign. No way. I'm sorry, but there is no way I'm gonna examine a new corridor with such a low amount of health on me. Well, let us try to head for the fourth floor for now. That is where we need to be at, after all. Hmm. The door to the third won't budge. Is anybody surprised by that fact? Oh my, moving up the stairs with... Several stab wounds must hurt like sticking your face into a fan blade. Jammed door. Oh. Alright, here we are. Oh, of course, figures. The door to the fourth floor is locked. Well, looks like we'll need to find a key or an alternate route. Oh, thank the Lord, Morphine. Just what I needed. <laughs> oh, yeah. Just what the doctor ordered indeed. Sure, now I can feel a little bit more safe about exploring and investigating this apartment building. Ah, looks like no roof access for you, Simon. Not that I mind it. Back to the other corridor for now. Yep. Careful. There we are. I still don't know what the hell that creature was which attacked me. I need to come up with a new name now. <sighs> it's just not safe to stay literally anywhere. Hell, this is a freaking safe location, and there was a monster inside this place. How much worse could it possibly get? Alright, back to that corridor. Back to the extremely loud generator noise. Is it still there? Yes, indeed it is. And that pedophile note is still creeping me out. What the fuck? Three little children. Something whispered from the bushes to the one that stayed behind all alone in the dark. Curiosity killed the cat. 
And of course it's all silent over here. Why the hell not? Most of these light switches don't seem to work. Hmm. Dee de dee de do dee 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 do. Let's try this apartment first. Oh, thank the Lord. This is what I always enjoyed about freaking Silent Hill games. When there was a door, I examined it and it said locked. I was like, oh, thank, thank you, Jesus Christ. I do not have to enter that creepy place. Oh, fuck me. Well, speak of the devil. Oh, this is Silent Hill 2 all over again. And eventually I am going to spot a mannequin. No, oh, no, 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 please, not the mannequins. Well, I'd like to have my switch bed ready, but wouldn't it be too dark then? This room is illuminated, yes, but not all that well. Nah, let's, let's just keep the cell phone out for now. Seems to be mostly safe. Uh, this door won't budge. Here we have a kitchen. Oh, Jesus, I want a better melee weapon. This switchblade is cool and all, but incredibly useless. Just like the knife in almost any horror game. What about a gun? What about an axe? Crowbar? Something? Alright, everything seems to be... clear. The only danger could come from the open balcony. Let's be ready. Just another living room, lots of bottles, TV, newspapers. Why do the lights not work anywhere? Typical. Locked door. Locked door. Huh. What the hell? Was something down there? Where did that fucking noise come from? I only now notice that the windows are broken. Oh my god, from above? Or from below? I don't feel safe whatsoever. There are plenty of apartment buildings all around me. Oh my, I, I desire the safety of my tape recorder. I mean, what the hell was the point of coming inside this room? There's nothing other than that creepy noise. Let's quickly get back to the corridor. Oh, fuck. Nothing in there to surprise me. Is there really nothing in here? Nothing I am maybe overlooking? What's that? Ah, just a pen. No, there is nothing. <sighs> this game is slowly starting to freak me out more and more again. Seriously, it's just like Silent Hill 2. Does anybody remember the, what was it called, like Blue Creek apartment? I don't know, but that was a scary place. Hmm, and here we have a garbage disposal device you can find in Sweden. How do I know that? Well, because I once saw this exact same thing on a cryofear screenshot, and somebody posted the answer. <laughs> Does this door open? Huh, locked from the other side, it seems. Where do I get the feeling that we will soon need a key? Huh, well, looks like the only other way to proceed right now is the hallway below. Alright. Fine with me. Oh, I want to save as often as possible. What, are you gonna sue me? Come on, bring it. I have the right to save my game. So far, so good. Please God, tell me that I will never ever have to head out into this darkness. Freaking park or forest or something. Here we are. Well, isn't this lovely? We are on floor number two.
Wait a minute. Was I on this floor before? Yes, I most certainly was. I think this loud noise is coming from the elevator. The elevator that is not working. Barricaded door. <laughs> Another freaking vision of an enemy creature lurking about. Bring it on! I have a switchblade, you cannot hurt me! Oh my god, that's real! Oh god, it's fucking real! I don't know what it is, but it needs to die! Bring it, you abomination! Oh, you little midget cunt! No offense to any midgets out there, but seriously, how about we call these annoying little pests slashers? Yes, it is not really original overuse, but they slash away with their knives, therefore I shall call them slashers. Not as tough as the creeps, but still, oh my god, I, I'd prefer a life without their existence. Thank you very much. Alright, you, you managed to scare me once again. Is it gonna work a second time though? I don't think so. Let's see, psychologist. Um, M. Watfield? That's probably the name. A psychologist lives here, eh? Well, there is no door. Just a solid block of cement, I presume. Has been wallpapered over. What about this door? Locked from the other side. Who would have guessed? Okay, any other name signs? This door is out of order. What about this one? Won't budge. I don't even know why I am examining all these random apartment doors. I guess I am just trying to desperately look for goodies that can keep me alive or something. Well, of course. I do not want to go in there. Yeah, how about this door? Oh my god, it actually opens. And it's all quiet. There's another note. Another pedophiliac note. Oh, please don't. Please don't. Open door. Won't budge. Won't budge. Marvelous. <laughs> okay. A uh, window shattering, or perhaps a mirror. I'm sure that is something ordinary around here. Every person in Sweden does that. Yes, indeed. Where did that come from? And why can I hear a heartbeat behind this door? Oh, fuck this. Living room, TV, the usual. Let's see, what is this note all about? My secret note 2. Oh, lovely, another pedophile note. Let's see. Those little kitties are so cute. They look so lovely. I just want to touch them. That is wrong in so many ways. But then those parents come. That's why I have to kill them. What? Oh my god. This is a very disturbing story we have stumbled upon here. A pedophile who wants to touch the lovely little children, but the parents are in the way so he wants to kill them first. And then he can take the lovely little children. Almost sounds like a Slenderman scenario if you ask me. Oh, how much deeper is this going to get? I hope we will never meet this person. Well then, what was up with that shattering sound? Uh, speaking of Slenderman, I am so fucking terrified of that creature. Please don't. Another empty bathtub, toilet, sink, nothing special. Alright, we have no choice it seems. Knock knock. Oh my god, really? What the 
hell kind of room is this? Is this the window that shattered? What the fuck? <laughs> ah! oh. I can hear noises. I can hear fucking noises. What is this? Get away from me. What the fuck? What's going on? Oh gosh, this is fucking scary. Is there a creep on the other side of this door? I'm not willing to look outside the window. What if something pulls me out? Wait, did somebody lock me in? Oh no. No, 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 no. <laughs> no, 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 no. This is, this is not good. Not good at all. What is this? Slowest death yet. 3rd June? 9th April? Raw that too quick? Might be axe or just knife? What is up with these pictures? There are random corpses of children? Really old? Can't remember? Third now? Come play? More blood? Collection 011 Collection 004 28th September Collection 001 June 4th Collection 002 Tasted bad Alright, seriously What is going on? What the fuck is up with this room? Whom did it belong to? There are pictures of blood, apparently collections and mementos? Pictures of corpses nonetheless One picture even says tasted bad Oh, this is so wrong. I should never have come into this room. I'm... I'm going to leave, cause we have reached the end of this episode. I... I want my tape recorder, thank you very much. Let's see if we can make it back there. Oh god, what the fuck is that? Ah! No! Ah! Ah! Holy shit! Wait, is it dead? What the fuck? Its head exploded and and there's a a spiked pole coming out. I'm not even gonna think about it. That that thing almost killed me. To use an to use a key item, open your inventory with tab. From here, click the use button and then click the key item. Wait a minute, a key? Remember to check the key item for clues if you're unsure where to use it. I didn't pick up a key. Did I miss something? I don't want to head back inside that place. Ladies and gents, we are going to get that key, if there even is one, the next time. For now, I just want my freaking safe recorder tape thingy-majingy. I feel so much better now. <sighs> well, ladies and gentlemen, this is about all I can take and record for the night. So, how about we end it here? This was session number two of Let's Play Cry of Fear. And oh boy, what kind of mess have we found ourselves in? Monsters everywhere. The story of a pedophile who presumably murdered parents and children. And, of course, a person in need of our help. That's about the only thing that is cheering me up a little at the moment. We are going to explore, examine, and maybe uncover all of these things the next time.
This is your host, the Shadow Cookie, ladies and gentlemen. I hope that you are still with me and enjoying this Let's Play. Signing out. Until then, one and all. Until then.